Hi everybody, this is another Flying Rookie video and on this video I will explain how you can calibrate your FF Free Fly Flight Controller to your radio. This calibration got nothing to do with the calibration on the ESCs. The ESCs they are calibrated already. Uh, it's that you have to calibrate the board when you use it for the first time with whatever radio you got, you have to calibrate it to the radio. Okay, so one of the things that you have to do is you have to read the instructions and make sure that you plug the ESCs and you got the props, you know, spinning to the right direction and you got the receiver uh, uh, plug it to the board, the ESCs and the receiver plug it to the board in the right order. Okay, the reason I'm making this video is because at least in that part when it comes to plugging the ESCs and the receiver to the board the instructions they are clear about that but when it comes to do the calibration process uh, since the um, instructions that you download online for this particular board they are translated in English they are translated in, uh, por poorly in English so they, they are they don't explain clearly you know how the process is so after me struggling for a little while I managed to get it done right okay so I'm gonna show how it gets done so that way you guys if you buy this same flight controller you won't be frustrated you know because you cannot get your aircraft flying right okay so we just cleared already that the ESC and the receiver is uh, connected the right way okay um, the fifth channel this fifth cable over here you have to make sure this connected on the board on the fifth input on the flight controller and on the receiver then the next thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that you already have on your radio if not you can uh, program any of the switches that you have here to the fifth channel and I already did that so this switch over here is programmed already to work with the fifth, the fifth channel set up to work with the fifth channel and it's on the off position okay then once you do that you turn the radio on okay and you make sure the radio is transmitting okay now I got the radio transmitting then make sure the trims on your on your memory on, on, on your radio they are all centered just like I got over here and if you got on on, on this particular model um, of your aircraft set on your radio if you have you know dual rates or triple rates make sure they are in a hundred percent okay and right now the the triple rate on my radio is a hundred percent once you do that move the throttle all the way up okay then the next thing that you have to do is you have to plug the bore the aircraft to the battery okay and like I said the throttle is up then you have to move this switch, the switch of the fifth channel. You have to move it and turn the calibration mode on. And as you can see, a little green light just turn on on the flight controller. That means the calibration mode is on. Then once you do that, you have to move the sticks to all the positions. Okay, so the board will fill the limit of how far you know the EPA is going. Once you're done, just just stop or lift the, the the throttle stick up then once you do that move the switch for the calibration just move it down okay and you see the little light just turn off and then just move the stick down and the calibration will be complete then just to check that everything is working right just uh, this particular board is not that kind of board that you can just plug the battery and you're ready to go. You have to arm it and disarm it. So what you do once you're done with the calibration and every single time you want to fly it, you move the stick up and you move the stick to the left and to the right. And you see the little, the, the little right flash twice and then just move it down and move it to the right. And now it should be getting power. See? And this thing is very responsive. Okay? It's good to go. And to disarm it, just move it to the left. 
you see that I flash again and you see there's no throttle action there's no throttle action okay then once you do that you know you will be good to go but there's one more thing you have to do let me just unplug the battery okay now that this aircraft is calibrated and everything is good to go one thing that you have to do is since you don't need to calibrate the board anymore you have to unplug the cable from the fifth channel it's coming from the receiver from the fifth channel and unplug it from input number five and put it on input number six okay now it's in input number six as you can see there and the reason that you do that is because that same switch that you use to calibrate the board also is the switch that you will use to turn on the 3D mode, the Acrobat mode. That means that if you want to do 3D flying with this, do barrel rolls, uh, flips, uh, loops, whatever you want to do with this, you can just flip the switch and it's going to go to 3D mode and then you can flip it again and it's going to go to a stabilized mode. A stabilized mode is that if you want to do, you know, like if you are a new pilot or if you want to um, do FPV flying or aerial video and you don't want to do any kind of, uh, 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 you know, uh, any kind of stunts in midair or anything, you just want to do a normal flight, then you switch the 3D off. Okay. Also, on the software that came with this flight controller in the computer, even if you program the switch to work to turn on the 3D on and off. If you are not just interested to do 3D at all, you can just go to the software and your computer and you can just, uh, the checkbox, you can just leave it empty and doesn't matter if you switch it by accident on and off on your radio, the 3D is just not gonna work. It's gonna be all the time on stabilized mode, okay? So it doesn't matter how far you move the stick, you know, for the rod, uh, for the aileron or elevator, this thing is going to continue flying level, okay? It's not going to let you do any flips or anything, okay? So, this is the end of this video of how to calibrate the flight controller, the FF uh, free flight, okay? And please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.